Hey everyone, welcome back to Rake Take Stacking. Uh, in today's video, I do have an unboxing here. I have uh, a package that's come in from Silver Gold Bull. But before I break into that, I do just want to show uh, a few more coins that have trickled in from eBay. And uh, if you've been watching my channel for any amount of time, you do know that I do love getting these uh, Canadian silver dollars. So that's what it is. Two more of those have come in. You see one's a Voyager from 66. And this one is a 1967 Goose. I have been getting a lot of these lately. I like these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the tube out. Because what I explained before is I'm going to have this one be all Voyagers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out a totem. And I believe these are all totem, Charlotte, Charlotte. Okay, so Voyager. So I'm going to swap out this Voyager to put it in the old tube that I already have filled. Put those back on top. So I switched out the Voyager for the totem because this is the new Canadian silver dollar tube that I have going on here. And if I pull them out here, I'll show you that I uh, all of them, they're either the, the goose right now. I have, uh, I think it's eight of the, the geese. And at the back here, I have three of the parliament. So this new tube is basically just holding on to these silver dollars that have the uh, alternative uh, designs on them, the alternate designs. So I'm just gonna put this one at the bottom here behind the three parliaments, put the geese back on top, throw that back in, and then just add this ninth, the ninth um, goose inside there. So what do I have in here? I have nine of these. I have three of the parliament, so that's 12, and then one of the totems, so there's 13 total in here. So that's uh, adding up quickly. As I said, I have enjoyed buying stuff from eBay lately, and uh, the majority of the things coming in have been those Canadian geese. So getting the eBay stuff out of the way, I am going to open the uh, box that has come from Silver Gold Bowl. I do know what's in here, so I'm just going to take this off screen and open it and put everything off to the side so yeah this is the package that came in from silver gold bowl uh, so i'm just going to slowly go through these and take them out as you can if you guessed from uh what's out here uh, i picked up some more of these silver town buffaloes these are my favorite generic rounds to get and uh, I do like that they are pretty much the cheapest one, the cheapest rounds on uh, Silver Gold Bull. Uh, I think they do have a random round option that's a little bit cheaper than these. Uh, but I just love the design there where it's kind of like the proof-like back. Uh, sorry, the proof-like field and then the frosted uh, Indian head and buffalo on the back. It's called the Silver Buffalo, but I believe this is actually a bison. Let me know in the comments. I think I heard people say that this is actually a bison. Uh, as I said, it's called the buffalo, so I always just say that's the buffalo side and this is the Indian head side. But I have heard on other videos people say that it's actually a bison. But yeah, I do have a couple other uh, silver buffaloes uh, from different mints. I have one from the Silvertown Mint. And uh, I did actually just give away one. It wasn't from Silvertown, it was from a mint. It was from a, um, uh, a mint that I wasn't quite sure of because it didn't have an indicator. Silvertown has that little pickaxe logo there. So that's where, I mean, I could just tell by the look of this with the frosted face and the mirror-like finish that it's the Silvertown. But then they have their little logo there. So it's just to, to confirm it. And uh, yeah, just I really like the design of this coin. Uh, I, I said this is my favorite of the uh, the silver town buffaloes that I have. I don't currently have one of the uh, the ones from the Asai, the Asai refineries. They have one where it's almost like a reverse proof of this, where the field is frosted and the Indian head and the buffalo are the one that's the proof. Those look very very cool. I haven't seen many of them available, but they uh, they look very cool when I uh, you know see pictures of them. So hopefully, I don't know if Silver Gold Bull or TD will pick some up or if I have to go on eBay and get them for a, a slightly higher premium than what you'd be paying for there. But yeah, moving on, I'm still, I did get uh, eight rounds. So it is eight of these Silvertown rounds. And I chose eight because I already had 12. So I wanted to complete another tube and that's what I am doing in this video with these Silvertown Buffaloes. This is the sixth one that has come in in this order. 
It says some of them are a little scratched up. That's fine. This is just generic bullion. I'm fine with that. Even smudges on the maple leaves and things like that, I don't get too worked up over. Um, I say I don't wear gloves or anything like that. It is just bullion to me. Uh, anything that's more, you know, collectible or a numismatic thing, I might put on some gloves. Um, but yeah, for for the most part, I don't really wear gloves when I'm handling uh, just the bullion products here. I should get a pair. I actually don't have a pair that I use. I do have like surgical gloves, like uh, um, just for whatever. I just have a box of them just in reserve. I, I could wear those if I ever did need them. And that's seven on the table there. This is the last of the silver rounds that I picked up. This buffalo here. There we go. That's eight. I'll put it off to the side here. Didn't do a really good job of spreading those ones out evenly. But yeah, that's it. That is the full tube of Silvertown Buffaloes completed. And uh, I'm not going to continue to get uh, tubes of Silvertown Buffaloes. I'm going to continue with my random generic round tube. Uh, that one just has 10 in it right now. I did want to uh, focus on getting this one done. And uh, now that this tube is done, I am going to start up the 2021 Maple Leaf tube. A couple of American Silver Eagles left to finish off my tube. I have 17 at the moment. One's coming in the mail from a trade. I'm waiting on that as the mail's been a little bit slow. I, we all know that. So I have one coming in from there and I'm going to pick up two more to finish those off. And hopefully by the time uh, that all happens, the new 2021 American Silver Eagles will come out and I'll have the uh, those two tubes on the go uh, as well with the, the 2021 Maple Leafs and the American Silver Eagle 2021 old design. I do want to get one of the old design and the new design. So that's enough about silver. Let's get into some gold. I did say that by the end of the year, I wanted to have two ounces of silver in the quarter ounce gold size. I have two currently, so I want to finish that one off and uh, add an additional ounce of the quarter ounce size. And uh, that's what I did here with this uh, purchase of the 2021. It's making sure. 2021 quarter ounce gold maple leaf. Now it's in here, it's nicely sealed. I had a hard time getting it out of here before. I had to do it off camera and get it on the, uh, get it into the capsule. But yeah, the quarter ounce is where you start to see that, you can't really see it on the camera here. Maybe a little bit, nah, it's getting out of focus. Yeah, there. Maybe you can see a little bit. The quarter ounce is where you start to get a little bit of, you know, it starts to feel substantial in your hands. When you get the tenth ounce, the grams and stuff like that, it's, you know, it, it is quite small. You notice the size, but uh, when I've been getting these quarter ounce ones, it's like, okay, now I'm starting to see, you know, the heft of it. Now I'm starting to see where the density of gold comes in. Obviously the density, you can see it in the smaller gold, but it's just very, very small, you know what I mean? So uh, yeah, when you get into these quarter ounce gold coins, uh, they definitely feel a lot more substantial in your hands. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna carefully cut this out of the, the vacuum seal here, and then I am going to get it into one of these capsules. I was dumb putting this into there, because uh, it already came, this is the, sorry, this is a kangaroo that was the last quarter ounce that I ordered. I was kind of dumb to put it in this one with the foam. It had already come in a capsule, and uh, I was really, really dumb and reckless getting it out of the uh, the capsule that it came in. I could have damaged the coin, and uh, I don't really want to do that again. So if I get another kangaroo, it's just going to stay in its small these look nicer obviously but since it's already in the cap I'm just gonna leave it there but being as this one is not in a cap it's just in this uh, kind of vacuum seal here I'm gonna cut this out and then uh, put it in the cap in a capsule quickly and there we go the 2021 is now in its case get a nice little close-up there of the date it's easier to see the O than the one so yeah that's the 2021 so as you can see, I now have three quarter ounce coins. I need, well, clearly I need one more to get to the one ounce size in that. But uh, this is kind of like a little impromptu full gold stack because now I officially have over one ounce of fractional gold. Uh, I got my 10th ounce here. This is a uh, five nines fine coin actually. It's a growling cougar, growling cougar. I can never say that without messing up. And on the back here of the SA card, you can see the five nines 
and uh, yeah I do really like this one so yeah that's the tenth ounce which is three obviously like uh, 3.11 grams and then I got six of these one gram pieces here so as far as my total gold stack it is just that little bit more than one ounce in total and I'm very happy to finally get over that threshold and uh, so yes the gold stack the full gold stack is at just over one ounce um, but like I said as far as my 2021 goals go try and keep everything in focus here but uh, as far as my 2021 goals are uh, concerned for gold I want to continue on with these quarter ounce coins uh, I don't think in the future, even when I'm done these goals in the future, I don't think I'll go uh, any smaller. I don't think I would pick up any more of these grams. I think the smallest I'd go would be five grams or um, a tenth ounce. A tenth ounce coin is probably going to be the smallest. Even the 2.5s, if they're you know a good deal, I might get that. But as far as the one grams go, uh, I, I just don't think the premiums are worth it on there. I picked these up early on in my uh, my stacking journey and uh, The price was low, but then as I said the more you learn about the premiums and stuff like that You see it's not the greatest deal that you can get and uh, I do think for me at least for my budget The quarter ounce size is the perfect size for me. I can squirrel away a little bit uh, In the budget on top of my regular silver budget I can squirrel away a little bit so I can pick up, hopefully pick up a quarter ounce gold coin, you know, every six weeks to two months, I would like to be picking up one of these. I did want to pick up a different design one. As I said, I already do have a maple leaf, uh, but I wanted to, I saw this 2021 and uh, yeah, nothing was set in stone. So I just went ahead and picked up my second gold maple leaf uh, instead of a different design. The Queen's Beast one was uh, one that I was thinking of. Uh, but yeah, I'm very happy to have two of these maple leaves instead. The 2021 in here, my first one is the uh, the 2020. So there you go with that. Some more gold to the stack. And uh, yeah, that's the end of the video. So thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments um, if you've been picking up any gold lately and uh, what your plan is for stacking gold in 2021. But yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I uh, hope you come back for the next one. Thank you.